everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be doing a first impression slash review of the Magic Fly 24 gouache paint set. Now, in the last review, I did the Mia 60, no, how many pans were in that? 56 set. So if you, I'll link that here and I'll link it down in the description below if you want to go watch that video after. But I decided to get this one as well because originally I was looking at the Mia and the Hemi 24 sets. And um, the Mia one, the 56 set, was on sale at the time for roughly about the same price, but this one was significantly cheaper than all of them. I think this was around $34 Canadian, so convert that into your currency on Amazon. But uh, So I wanted to get this one and just see how they performed or if they did any different than the Mia ones. So the first difference that I see right off the bat is that this set actually comes with um, a set of brushes. They're very tiny. <laughs> so we'll probably try these out a little bit and see how they go. But for the painting that I'm planning on doing, I don't know if these will cover much area, but we'll certainly try them out. Now, I have to say right off the bat, this lid is significantly harder to get off than the Mia one is. Um, these are really stuck on there. Good. And if you flip it over, this one also has the foam insert on the top. So in the video before, I had mentioned maybe this was to help with to seal it better. I'm not sure. Or maybe just help to keep the, the paint cups in the right place but I mean I wouldn't be flipping this upside down once you open them because all the paint's going to come out anyway. Another difference is that this one actually comes with some instructions so I'll kind of hold that up there if you guys want to pause and read it but I'm just going to briefly look at it. It also says gouache in the cups would have extra glycerin on top for dry proof stir to blend before use. So I do appreciate that they um put that in there because I mean you never know if you're supposed to stir it up first or just use it as is so I do appreciate that and it's sort of got some other tips here so air dry gouache can be mixed with some glycerin or water to extend the time from air dry it says shelf life it has six months so that's interesting because um, I know a lot of paint can last a lot longer than that so I'm wondering if it's because it's you know sort of open to air Tips about dry crack. So basically it's just saying, don't put it on too thick or it will crack, but that is worded very weird. Okay, and then activate dried gouache. Take the dried up gouache off the cup and add glycerin and water until it moisten, then grind it into mud and stir it evenly. Okay, so some interesting tips there. And then we have all of our colors and the names. And another thing I forgot to point out um, at the beginning, but this one actually gives us some light fastness and some transparency and the pigment number. So that's kind of interesting. And I'm not 100% sure if like three plus three means more light fast or less light fast. So I'll have to kind of look into that and I'll let you know. I'll either put it on the screen here or down in the description, but I do appreciate that. And I'm pretty sure the Mia and the Hemi ones don't have any light fast information. So that is kind of cool. Oh, and another, th oh, okay, this is cool. It's got like um, like a perfect protective sheet. Is there something? Oh, there's even like a film on that. Okay, so I wonder what you're supposed to do with this. Maybe you just leave this like in between here so that when you flip it over, the paint won't get on that? Or is this supposed to be like a mixing palette? Hmm. I'm gonna have to look into that too. I don't know if it would be that great of a mixing palette, but interesting. And then these are the little pans that they have. So again, these ones are 30 mil. Um, the Mia ones were also 30 mil and they are sort of in that classic jelly shape as well. 
So just like the other video, I'm going to go ahead and swatch all of these. I'll come back, show you the swatches, and then we'll just get right into doing um, a piece of artwork. Okay, so here's the swatches from this gouache set. And as you can see, it's got a really nice range of colors. I do like this. Um, and what I did here was I did a thick layer of just the just the paint itself. And then I did another layer where I thinned it down really almost to a watercolor consistency because I wanted to see how opaque it would be with just the paint versus how opaque it would be if you really thinned it down with a lot of water. Plus, I have heard that some gouache, if you're painting with really thick, like just the paint, it can chip and flake off. But I mean, I've been bending this to see if I can get any of these to chip or flake off. And it is like I can feel it's bumpy on the paper because I did lay down, you know, a layer of gouache and I haven't had any of them like chip or flake at all. And as you can see, this set is very opaque, like with just the paint itself. I feel like almost all of these ones cover up the black strip so I put this strip here just to see how opaque it really was and there's really only a couple like the the yellow the orange and this one you can see it shadowing through a little bit but a lot of these are very opaque and I feel like that's what gouache is supposed to be is very opaque and then when you water it down you can see just how translucent it can be so I thought this was really interesting now, another thing I did want to mention is, so this has been about a week since I've mixed up most of these colors, and you can see they're still pretty thick and mixed up. So I do like that, that you don't have to keep going back in and mixing them up each time. Now, I have seen videos where like after months and months and months, they tend to dry out. So I would say, you know, every once in a while, just go in, give them a spray, mix them up, and then, you know, just keep doing that. Another thing I want to mention is this is the lid and this is the plastic sheet that uh, came in the set but every time I would put it on and close the lid the paint would get stuck to it so just be careful wh which way you're putting the lid on you want to make sure that you know you're going with it you know you don't want to put it the wrong way but what I ended up doing was just taking some masking tape here and taping this onto this because I couldn't like trying to move that piece over and then trying to get it back into the exact same place and then getting the lid on top of it. It was kind of tricky. So I just figured I'd tape this right to the lid and it has stayed so far. Now I don't know long term if this masking tape is really going to keep this stuck on there that well, but it has worked, you know, the few times that I've taken this off. Another point I want to say is compared to another gouache set that I've got recently that the review will either be out before this or after this video. This lid is extremely hard to get on and to get off, but my gosh, does it seal this paint well. Um, the other lid that I have, it's very flimsy. It's really hard to get it to like close and like stick together. This one, it's really easy to close and stuff, but to get it off, you've got to really work at it. And I think it seals really well. So I feel like you don't have much air coming in, getting to your paints unless they're open like this. So that's another thing that I really um, like about this set. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go sketch out something. I think I'm going to do a flower and I want to see how these paints lay down, how they mix a little bit um, because you don't have too, too many colors, but I feel like this is enough colors to get the job done, but we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead, do that. I'll probably do a time lapse and then I'll come back with my final thoughts and um, review of this gouache. <laughs>
Okay, so I had a lot of fun playing around with these gouache, and this is the painting that I came up with for this set. This was another uh, gouache set comparison um, review, so I think that one's going out first. So if it is, I will link it down in the description. But these paints laid down really well. They're very opaque, so when I started to go over with a little bit of white to do some highlights, it covered almost the whole thing at first, so I had to go back and put some more darks in. But these paints were a whole lot of fun to use. They were still very opaque when they were super watered down, and you can definitely tell that by the swatches. But from using this other brand before, um, which wasn't as opaque, I'm going to say, I didn't realize how opaque these ones were. So I started, you know, I'm a watercolorist, so I usually do watercolor. So in my mind, I was thinking, oh, I'll start light to dark, and then I can always add some highlights over top because I knew the white in this is super opaque. But as soon as I started to add, you know, the next color on top, it was kind of covering that first color. So it was sort of a little bit of a learning curve with this gouache, and I'm not as familiar with gouache as I am with watercolor or colored pencils. So it was a little bit of a learning curve, but in the end, I do really like the, the piece that I came up with. It was kind of fun. And the brushes that came with the set um, actually performed pretty well. So I started off using the big one just to lay some big uh, areas of color in and to do some blending. And then these little ones, um, they do hold a nice precise tip. So I did like that. It's weird because the brushes are a little shorter than normal, but um, once I started using them, I didn't really think about it too much. Now, one thing I did want to mention is because this palette, although it's got this really nice lid and it stays on nice and tug, and I'm assuming that's so it can be airtight, if you notice, there are these holes in the bottom of the palette. So it makes it easy so you can pop the colors out and get them out that way. However, with that being said, I mean, how airproof or airtight is it really? Because I feel like air would still be coming in through those little holes in the bottom. But I have to say this palette I've been sort of like using here and there for the last about two weeks or so. And um, as you can see, I've only mixed them up the once when I first did the swatches. And they've stayed pretty um, consistent ever since. And they are, I find these gouache is a little bit thicker than your normal uh, gouache sets that you would get, like your Himmy or your Mia, whatever they are. So I did really like that about it. Again, I just, you know, taped the top piece of plastic that came with it. Um, this was one thing nice about this palette is it did come with this plastic insert here to protect the top of the thing. So I just taped that on with some masking tape and then I just try to be careful when I'm putting it on so that I'm lining it up and uh, getting it in the right place. Now, as you can see, those clip on super secure and it's got the little handle. Will I continue to use these? I think I absolutely would. I would like to use these more. They were really fun. They were really um, opaque. Um, yeah, I think I would use these ones again. So you might see some more videos coming up with some gouache stuff. Please consider subscribing. Like this video if you liked it and hit the notification bell so you know when I post my videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video.